So there's another big gossip story going around right now. This is from The Guardian. William Barr told Murdoch to muzzle Fox News Trump critic, according to a new book, Attorney General at Media Mogul on October 2019. Who was that Fox News Trump critic? Judge Andrew Napolitano, who said Trump should be impeached. The Attorney General, William Barr, told Rupert Murdoch to muzzle Andrew Napolitano, a prominent Fox News personality who became a critic of Donald Trump, according to a new book about the right wing. TV network. Napolitano, a friend of mine. I've been on the show a couple times. Great dude. Also supporter of the uh, the, the Bundy Ranch uh, episode on, on the right side of that one, of course. And he has been uh, a longtime advocate of uh, his brand of libertarianism on Fox and Fox Business and had a, had a contract at some point <clears throat> that forbade him from doing an interview with me. So he was already muzzled. And I, if you want the whole backstory on this, it was just that when I had my TV show with RT and did the civil disobedience dance thing with the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, he wanted to have me on. And this is how Austin Peterson got butt hurt over, you know, me trying to get him on my show, like asserting that, you know, calling Fox news on this bullshit. But um, Austin Peterson was uh, Napolitano's producer at the time. This is back in 2011. And uh, maybe it comes down to ideology more, but he's been butt hurt about this ever since. And I, I called this out publicly, and then I said, "Look, a producer is saying that uh, you know has is, is, is leaked it to me that he's not allowed to do an interview on my show. That like somehow by Judge Napolitano's, Napolitano's contract, he was not allowed to do an interview uh, for Anna versus the Man on Russia Today television. And I had done, and, and as, as CJ is, is, is showing you." here on screen um that uh, we we you know i got to do a show in 2010 when i was running for congress i've done it a few times since then i've done it as a presidential candidate uh when he was filling in for kennedy on fox business and you know i i i love i love both of these dudes i love andrew napolitano um i, I love austin peterson even though he doesn't return my text messages anymore and i don't know when that started oh when he wasn't asking for my vote in 2016 as a presidential uh, candidate for the Libertarian Party nomination before running back to be roundly embarrassed in the Republican Party where he got spanked in his primary. Yeah, bad news, Austin. Should have stuck with Team Gold. Anyway, so this now represents a stepping up of the government's control uh, of the media to suppress uh, a Libertarian voice. So it's not just Fox being critical of Trump, but specifically singling out Judge Napolitano with the authority of Bob Barr. And so Washington Examiner has another story on this. DOJ, DOJ denies Brian Stelter book account about Barr pushing Murdoch to muzzle Andrew Napolitano. Of course it does. The Justice Department said a CNN journalist claimed that Attorney General William Barr attempted to muzzle Fox and his legal analyst. Judge Andrew Napolitano is false. Carrie Kupek, a DOJ spokeswoman, re responded sun Saturday evening excuse me, to a claim in CNN chief media correspondent Brian Stelter's forthcoming book that Barr met with billionaire and media mogul Rupert Murdoch as part of efforts to silence Napolitano while he publicly called for President Trump to be impeached during Congress's Ukraine-related investigation. Now, this story is yesterday. The book already on Amazon now is at number one. And this book is called Hoax by Brian Stetler. According to the Associated Press, Brian Stetler Knows critics accuse Fox News of bending the truth in order to maintain its staunch support of and closeness to President Donald Trump, a CNN media reporter and host of reliable sources. He's often one of them. This is from the AP article. Hope's book reveals extent of internal unease at Fox. He wasn't prepared to hear the extent of concerns about the network's direction by people who work there. It was one of the reasons he wrote Hope's Donald Trump's Fox, Donald Trump. Fox News and the Dangerous Distortion of Truth, which will be released Tuesday. The book shot from number 340 to number one on Amazon's bestsellers list following Stelter's appearance with Rachel Maddow on MSNBC Friday. Now, the uh, opening sentence here really says a lot. And this is the bigger media story. And this is just an important dynamic to understand about how the mainstream media and what stories get to the American people and how are so manipulated is that as long as we have a government in existence doing things that affect your life, 
It will always be a source of news, newsworthy information. And it will always be worthwhile. It will be worth something in the free market for media to get interviews with the key government players behind those policies, to get the seat in the White House press briefing room, to be able to go to the presidential press conferences, to ask him questions, to oh, exclusive access, blah, blah, blah. And so the media, if, if you want to be credible mainstream media that has access to government, you have to kiss government ass. Now, to me, that makes you not credible. But someone has got to be playing the game for access, or at least the mainstream media is dragging us to the lowest common denominator on that by getting so orange the lips so well as we see with this trying to maintain the closeness to President Donald Trump. Well, you, you know, you could, you could get a little closer if you keep that Napolitano guy off the air a little bit more. You've got him on contract, right? You can keep him from doing interviews on other networks, right? Yeah. So that's why I think it's so important to, to be aware of these dynamics, not to get into a story like this for, again, all the, the palace intrigue and the drama, but to be able to say, yeah, this is why it's more important to support a show like Adam versus the man or wherever it is that you get your media from an independent source where they're not subject to this particular distortion of the truth. The biases are clear and in the open. And like here, you know, we tell you how we do the show every day. And, and that kind of transparency, I think, is really important to moving media forward, journalism, and therefore humanity.